engines are basically of two major types piston engine and gas turbine engine all aircraft engines work on the basic principle of newton's third law of motion which is every action has an opposite and equal reaction in aircraft engines when the air is pulled in and then pushed out with force this is action and as a reaction the aircraft moves forward and this force is called thrust piston aircraft engines contain reciprocating pistons same as automobile engines the thrust is produced by the propeller the gas turbine engines which are used in almost all large commercial or military aircrafts are continuous internal combustion engines all gas turbine engines consist of three major parts compressor combustor and turbine and work on the concept of Brayton cycle we will explain these terms in a minute now the gas turbine engines produce thrust with the help of jet in order to understand the concept of jet take an example of this tube with the nozzle now when the high energy and expanded fluid whether liquid or gases are forced to leave a small nozzle a jet is produced this jet will be the action and as a reaction the aircraft will move forward the gas turbine engine has four basic types turbojet turboprop turboshaft and turbofan and they look like this we will just discuss turbofan for this video as it is the most common type in the aircraft industry we have already seen turbofan in the beginning of the video now let's examine its major parts. In the front of the engine, there is a ducted fan. Inside the engine, there is a bypass, as shown by the dotted lines. This bypass and the ducted fan are the parts which make turbofan different from other gas turbine engines. This is compressor and is one of the most important parts of all gas turbine engines. Right after the compressor, there is a combustion chamber where the gases are burned in the presence of oxygen. And then there is the turbine, which is again the most important part of all gas turbines. And towards the end, we have nozzles. One big nozzle in the middle, which produces jet thrust, while the fan or bypass thrust is produced with the help of the bypass and is the key feature of the turbofan engine. Now, when the air is sucked in by the ducted fan, it enters the engine and some of it bypasses the turbine. There, the bypass air produces a small jet, which can be called as fan thrust. The rest of the air enters the compressor. Now here the gases are compressed and their pressure is increased. These high pressure compressed gases then enter the combustion chamber where they are heated and burn in the presence of oxygen. Here the temperature of gases is increased dramatically while the pressure is kept constant after which they are suddenly expanded and their volume is increased. Now when these high temperature, high energy and suddenly expanded gases enter the turbine they rotate the turbine a shaft is connected with the turbine so as the turbine rotates the shaft starts rotating as well this shaft is connected with the compressor and the ducted fan so as the shaft rotates it keeps the compressor and the fan rotating as well this way all the components keep rotating and working so now at the end the rest of the gases in the turbine leave the nozzle producing jet this jet combined with the bypass jet being action forces produce powerful thrust as a reaction force and the aircraft moves forward now the process of keeping the pressure constant 
raising the temperature by combustion, sudden expansion and turbine rotation is called Brayton cycle. We will discuss about the Brayton cycle and all the major parts of the turbine engine in more details in our next video.